244. What's 244? It's a six millimeter based, I think, on a 257 Roberts case, uh, which actually was based on, I think, which was based on, and actually it was, it was a seven millimeter Mauser. Then they necked it down to 25 caliber. That was a 257 Roberts. And I think they did it again to the 244. Remington did it. I've, I've heard of 257 Roberts. I've never heard of 244. 244. Remington did it about the same time that Winchester did the 243. But Winchester put a faster twist on it. And you can use a little heavier bullets. And they got all the publicity. And Remington cartridge really suffered. So is it basically a wildcat now? You can't get any factory. Well, you, you, well, you can get it, but it's it's there's not a lot of it. But actually, the 244 is a better performer with the right twist barrel than the 243. Really? Uh huh. Now you tell me that I have a big money spent in the 243 twist right. barrel. 243 is a good gun now. <laughs> it's more about it's more about how well you shoot it and where you hit them. Choosing the right bullet than it is the velocity. The only thing I the bullet, you, that 243. Say again? That 243 right now, I'm just running pretty partisan, like 100 grain, like soft tip hunting ammo in it, uh -huh. and it shoots lights out. Yeah. I'm real happy with 243 that. 243 is good. I mean, I'm basically going to see how far I can take that without having to do reloading or anything. Yeah. Just basically. Yeah. I don't have 243 dies, yeah. just so you know. And I'm getting snobbish. Like the dies that I'm going to buy in the future are all uh, ready. I, I've even gone to the point where I don't particularly like the Hornady dies anymore. I was, I bought the Redding dies for the 257 Weatherby. Can we go hot? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. All right. I'm going to plug my ears.